peace and blessings to you beloved this is great maharaj speaking from maharaj temple of ghana it is another beautiful day that the great mother of the waters and then the spirit of the universe they have blessed us with this beautiful day beloved not to waste time today we are going to learn something about jewels for example nose ring bracelet anklet and stuff like that so beloved not to waste time do me a favor make sure you share this video to your family and friends this is great maharaj the founder of maharaj temple of ghana share this video and a more nice beautiful teachings is on your way coming at your door this is great maharaj thank you so much now pick up the number the number or the contact number contact information is plus two three three five four three six four seven one eight zero and beware of imposters beware of fraudsters beware of scammers they are all over the places so please if somebody comes to you and then says that maharaj said you should give him or her money or whatever please be extra careful i don't do that so thank you so much go to the youtube channel and then search maharaj temple of ghana and then subscribe to the youtube channel there's a lot of videos out there some of them are in our local language some of them are also in english so please take a time and then go through all of that thank you so much beloved quickly pick up your bible <laughs> yes pick up your bible today we are going to learn something from the word of so-called god now the very christians who condemn the use of jewels are the same christians that they are god is promoting jewels beloved the same christians whom condemn the use of jewels such as nose rings anklets and uh, necklaces or what for so ever beloved the same christians they are all bible is promoting this kind of lifestyles so not to waste them pick up your bible right now beloved pick up your niv bible yes get an niv niv bible niv bible yes if you don't have some go on the internet go google play store and then download niv bible now after you download the niv bible beloved take a pen and paper and then write down these bible quotations write down these bible quotations that is genesis chapter 24 verse number 22 when you're done go to the next verse that is ezekiel chapter 16 verse number 11 to 13 and then lastly go to the book of isaiah chapter 3 verse number 21 to 23 now let's read what the bible says there genesis chapter 24 verse number 22 there's a story there that story is when the, it, it reaches at a time that Abraham want to choose a wife for his son Isaac Abraham sent one of his servants to go and look for a woman and marry to his son Isaac so on the way the man met Rebecca and then the man find a favor in front of Rebecca and then the man took a nose ring jewels anklet whatever that you may call it and then gave it to rebecca beloved no shrink was part of the gift that was given to rebecca so if a no shrink is wrong why would the ancient bible ancestors or why would the bible ancestors promote this culture because it is part of the bible no shrink is part of the bible no shrink is not for my water children. No shrink is not for the Muslims. No shrink is not for only Christian. It's not for Indian women. No. Wearing of no shrink is part of our human culture because right now, you, if you have a good right now, you have to go to where the, the, uh, the Jewish stores or the Jewish shops. For them, you use some of your gold to, I mean, brand yourself. You use some for your uh, 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 what we call bracelets, you use some for necklaces, you use some for nose ring, and then the earrings to promote how rich and worthy that you are, beloved. 
So if Rebecca wore a nose ring, oh, beloved, <laughs> you'll be blessed, okay? Don't let nobody deceive you that wearing of nose ring is wrong. Never. It promotes beauty. It promotes attraction. It promotes anti-aging. And even spiritually, whenever that you put on a nose ring, beloved, <laughs> it attracts a beautiful spirit into your life. Because no spirit love nasty, ugly woman. No. Spirit love beautiful women. That is why in our Akan culture or in various spiritual uh, uh, cultural countries or cultural tri tribal culture places, when a spirit wants to possess somebody, they choose someone who is very nice, a very beautiful one. So even a spirit knows what... Oh, come on, beloved. If a spirit being knows, spirit being, they want a beautiful woman. How much more than you? Don't disgust yourself, beloved. Be proud of your culture. Your culture says wear nose ring, wear anklet. No, there's a problem on our African traditional culture system. Yes. When you go to uh, 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 spiritual places, you can see that the priestess or the priest has a piece of anklet on their, uh, on our, uh, uh, what, what do they call it? Is it? Yes. Uh, what, what do they call it? Uh, uh, yes, you put it on an anklet. Yes. Anklet jewels. We put it around our ankles. But when they see a woman wearing a gold or silver anklet, this same traditional men and women will condemn such a woman. A priestess, a prophet, Okonfor or Okonfuba, when he put a beast like mine on their foot, it's not wrong. But when they see an ordinary, uh, 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 an ordinary woman wearing a gold or silver anklet, then they'll begin to condemn her that she is a shawl by a prostitute. What kind of nonsense is that? Oh, your bar, Nasa Wo, Shamia, please be proud of yourself. Now, not to waste time, let's quickly go to Ezekiel. Chapter 16, Ezekiel chapter 16, verse number 11 to 13 it is so amazing. The Bible says, And God adorned the children of God with jewels. <laughs> Do you hear that? Ezekiel 16, verse number 11 to 13. The Bible says, God adorned the children of Israel with jewels. Include no strengths. Read the Bible, NIV. Read it. So if God himself, I told you, God is a spirit. Spirit being love jewels. They love beautiful women. So God put nose rings right in the nose of the children of Israel. And you are, you are watching me, you are listening to me. And then you are a Christian. You don't have, no, no, you don't have a favor. Yes. Women who, are, who don't wear nose rings, anklet, they don't have a favor. Just think critically. Those women, they do themselves that they are holy, they are holy, they are whatever, whatever, they are righteous, righteous. Their husband always cheat on them. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Those women, I said, their husband always cheat on them. And then go for women who are wearing nose ring and then anklet. Beloved, this is great Maharaj. Pick up my number, plus 233-54-364-7180. Beloved, wearing a nose ring or anklet, there's nothing wrong with it. Read your Bible very well. Don't let your pastor deceive you. Don't let any spiritualist deceive you that wearing of jewels is wrong. It's prostitution. Never, 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 never. Those people at the same time who go to the shower people and they sleep with them. The same pastors, the same prophetess, the same spiritualists, whoever and who 